First on CBS This Morning, we're revealing Forbes' third annual list of America's richest self-made women. Celebrate 60 who earn their own wealth through success and innovation. To qualify, women must have a minimum net worth of $260 million. Tied for third place on this year's list are Oprah and Judy Love. There was co Judy Love, by the way, is co-founder of Love's Travel Stops and Country Stores. In second position is Diane Hendricks. She's co-founder of ABC Supply Roofing Company. And first on the list is Little Caesars co-founder, Marion Illich, Forms Assistant Managing Editor. That's Lisa Kroll is here. Welcome back. Hi, Gail. I think Thanks it's so for having interesting. me. I, we're glad you're here. That the number one position is someone from Little Caesars Pizza. Yep. Well, you know, she and her husband started the business together back in 1959, which was fairly unusual. And she was involved in the operations the entire time. Um, and they had a rare partnership, and that continued. Uh, she actually jumps up in the ranks because her husband passed away in February. Mm -hmm. And so she inherited, you know, she now takes control of the rest of Little Caesars. Five newcomers uh, to the list who stands out Jamie Kern Lima she was a broadcast journalist like you guys and she had a skin condition that made her skin really red mm -hmm. and so she started trying to figure out ways to come up with makeup this was less than 10 years ago mm -hmm. she came up with something called IT cosmetics and L'Oreal bought it from her for 1.2 billion in cash in August wow. she's staying on as CEO the first female CEO oh, in the Jamie. company's 108 year history I mean what a great story yeah yeah, and you mentioned that these have to be women who either were, were part of starting the company. Yes, they have to be. Even if they inherited their husband's part yes. portion. They could also be a, a CEO like Meg Whitman, who grew uh, eBay from eight million to you know billions. Um, but you can't have inherited any of the money. You can't have been brought in by your husband or your father. So how, how hard is it to be a self-made woman? Because you look at the list, some of their things seem so simple. Well, I think like it's Jesus? really... Yeah. I, I, the jewelry lady. The cover. I mean, Who do you have on yeah. the cover? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's a woman named Carolyn Raphaelian. Her father did costume jewelry, but she started a totally different business doing cocktail rings and stuff. And when that her father's business wasn't doing well, she started making these bracelets... Yeah, I've seen they're those. just they're they're, they're yeah. everywhere. But now. how they're hard in your, is it, Louisa? Because they come up with a need, don't they? Well, they come up with a need. I think that they're basically solving things that we all think that we want and we're willing to buy, but we never come. You know, we don't stick with it. Uh, and they, uh, the founder of California Baby, a lot of moms know that product yeah. exactly. And so basically, she was so upset with the toxins that she saw in the baby shampoos. She started mixing it herself. She got it loan from her own mother, and she set up her own manufacturing facility. She brought in no investors. I mean, it sounds incredibly simple, but that is a very hard thing to do. This is such a good issue. Congratulations. Thanks so much, yeah. Nora. Louisa Kroll, thank you.